Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we are making over a Facebook Marketplace find. This project I have been procrastinating and I talked about it in last week's video. This is the week we're gonna get it done. And I'm so excited to take you guys along on this journey. To start, I have been in love with antique pine sleigh beds for so, so long. But if you actually look for them, they're number one, so hard to find. And if you do come across one, they are usually crazy expensive. So I just always check Facebook Marketplace hoping I would get lucky and, you know, find something. Maybe I could DIY something. Well, I found this bed. It is probably an older model of from Pottery Barn. And it was a trundle, but we have, we didn't need a trundle. So I actually sold this bottom trundle piece and we will just be using this bed. Let me show you guys. I went through a little journey of deciding if we could sand it or not. Here is my Facebook Marketplace sleigh bed. I think they're called sleigh beds when they have like these sides that kind of go up like a sleigh. I, when I got it, I didn't know if we would just need to paint it because this is from Pottery Barn and sometimes it's like, you know, maybe not real wood or just like, I don't know. I thought I might have to paint it is all, but I sanded this spot and was like, wait, that totally worked and looks like beautiful wood. So I gave it a try and look. <laughs> It's beautiful. Now it's an absolute beast to sand because it has such a thick, uh, you know, coat on it. What do you call that? Like a lacquer or whatever. So it's definitely going to be a beast to sand. But if we can do it and get this whole thing down to this beautiful wood, that is just going to look so stunning. So I continued sanding and sanded right through to maybe this is particle board such a disappointing find. Maybe some pieces are solid wood, but this was definitely not solid wood. Realized we can't sand the bed, but that's okay. I think that this bed will look so cute painted, especially because it's for my little girl's room. And I, I don't know, something about just painting it felt right for her space. The day has finally come. I am going to start painting. Myla's new bed frame. We took off, well, my husband took off all the legs or the little feet, which was nice. And then we also took off the balls that go on the top. And so we got those there. My husband so kindly set up this like rig so that these can stand upright while I paint them, which was really nice. Make, it's gonna make it so much easier to paint. I feel like you can do a better paint job when stuff is taken apart. I am gonna be using this Zinzer shellac based primer. I've heard for the best results, I should let it cure for three days before we do any other coat or go in with the regular paint. So we are gonna do that. So it's gonna be a little process, but I'm excited to get started. Here's how one coat looks. I've never used this type of paint before, so I was really surprised. <laughs> it's like extremely runny and watery feeling, so it just drips like crazy. So I'm sure you guys saw my first brushes were like dripping crazy, and I had already tried to like wring out a lot of it. So anyways, go extremely lightly <laughs> when using this paint. Obviously it kind of looks terrible right now, but it's a process. <laughs> Ooh. It has been two days, but I want to get this project done. So also sorry for all the noise. But anyways, I've done a coat. I only did one. 
and that's all I'm gonna do before I paint. I really just wanted to make sure we had one coat of this special paint uh, to help the other paint <laughs> stick. This is the paint swatch we went with. It is even better beige, comparable to Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige um, from Home Depot. And I actually got it at 25%, what do you call it? I like got 25% less strength. <laughs> I don't know, 25% <laughs> less. It's the tiniest bit lighter. I don't even know if you could tell, but it is. So that's what we got, that's what we're gonna use. the first coat is looking it's such a nice beige maybe it's hard to tell probably just looks white but here maybe you can tell better that's the white and that's the color it's so nice okay we got two coats officially put on this piece and I'm gonna move on to two coats on everything else so I'm really happy with it I know it's a little shady in here but I am so happy with how it's looking. And once I get two coats, it's gonna look even better. The bed is all finished, it is dried we actually had to wait a couple days we had some family in town and but it is finally ready to be brought up to Mila's room and put together and all styled up so let's do that we just brought up the first piece and this is my first time seeing the color of the bed in her room and it's so perfect I love it I guess maybe it's a little hard to see against the window but it is so good. First, we gotta take apart this crib, make room for the new bed. Time to put it all together. The crib is out of here. Let's build this bed. gonna have to rearrange Milo's room because look you guys what is that like a quarter of an inch or something the bed can't push against the wall and so we just have this gap back here so we're gonna rearrange the room <laughs> you guys this reveal I had to rearrange Mila's room and it ended up in the end it's actually a little bit more spacious than it was before which is so funny I'm really happy with how we rearranged the room please know that how I'm styling the bed it's not necessarily how Mila will be sleeping in the bed with the things but for the sake of this video and just you know making her bed all cute and everything I wanted to style it up for you guys so that is what I did here's how the bed looked right when we got it off of Marketplace, and here is how it looks now.
thank you guys so much for watching and following along on this journey of making over this Facebook Marketplace bed. I think it is so cute and Mila loves it. And yeah, it's just, it's a bed that she can grow with. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe. For more of my everyday life, follow me over on Instagram at emilyface.home. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.